everybody welcome back to i tip tutorials uh, it's been a couple weeks since i last posted and my apologies for that today we're going to be looking into the extensions that scratch offers for the text to speech and the translate we're going to teach you guys how to make a translate app so stick around for that let's go ahead and show you guys our demo first <laughs> So here you guys what we have is a screen which is our application and what our application is going to do is translate English words into any of these specific languages. Welcome to Ape Tech Translate. Please click on the language you would like to learn. So the first thing uh, we're going to show you guys here is uh, this application that we have here is to translate any text you type in into English. I mean, sorry, from English to any of these languages here listed. Let's go ahead and start with our demo first. Welcome to Ape Tech Translate. Please click on the language you would like to learn. And I'm going to go with Please Spanish. Please enter a word or phrase you would like to translate. Buenos dias, amigos. And as you see, it will keep prompting you to type in different words or phrases. And it's just basically to teach people how to uh, how to learn a different language. You can, or if you just need to translate something. Adios. So that's it. Uh, that's the gist of this uh, app. Let's go ahead and look at our guts of it, what is inside of it. So these two are our extensions. Our text-to-speech is uh, provided to us by Amazon Web Services and our translate is provided by Google Translator. So uh, we're going to look into those. Let's go into our project. So first things first, let's go ahead and show you guys how I did my backgrounds. So the first thing I did was go ahead and choose my backgrounds. And I made my own custom ones. So the first one I did was the Ape Tech logo, which is the first one you guys see when you guys come into the app. And then the second one is just uh, my uh, avatar. After that, what I did is since in my app, if you guys remember, I had the buttons appear here. So let's go ahead and show you. Welcome. That. Right here, the buttons appear. And then I have a monkey. Right, and then the little bubble disappears because I want it to disappear and just show you the languages. So what I did is I created a sprite of the actual logo for Ape Tech that allowed me to keep the monkey while the buttons were there without the speech bubble. So what I want to do for the code for the background is go ahead and make sure that I, and when the flag is clicked, that the background that we're seeing is this monkey background, not the, not the bitmoji that I had for myself, because that's at the beginning of the application. I want this to happen. So, so when the flag is clicked, go ahead and show that background, basically. Then the next step was for my, uh, sprite that is the ape tech logo in that specific sprite i wanted to make sure that when the flag was clicked um the actual character will show the uh the logo and then the text will say in a little bubble welcome to ape tech translate and then prompt for uh for language so we have uh several variables that we created we created a prompt a prompt variable a text variable and we have another one that is an input but that one's in the button code so the first thing we do is set our variables here we set our text our text to welcome a text translate we set our prompt to please click on the language you would like to learn this is kind of prompting the user on what is the next step to do? And then we use the set language to English. And this set language, basically what it would do is would allow for the speak to happen. 
so we wanted to set it to English. So we first we tell it we want the uh, assistant to speak in a certain language. So in my case, I wanted to speak in English. So that's why I put English, English. And then the save block is the little bubble that pops up with that specific text. And if, if you guys know, this text here is basically this welcome up here. So what it's basically doing is saying this here and it'll pop that little bubble on on top of the ape tech logo and then we have this speak and now we're speaking the text so so up here we set our language then this is the bubble and this is where it says the actual thing inside the bubble and now the same idea with the prompt we we put the bubble for the prompt which is please click on the language that you would like to learn and then this is how it says it and then we wait one second and hide our hide our bubble so let's go back to the scratch area so I can show you guys where to get those extensions my apologies I did not show you guys let's go back so you click back here on the bottom left corner there's a little blue square with white blocks click there and here's where you find all the extensions the extensions we'll be using are text to speech and they translate right here and that's how you just by clicking on them you put them onto scratch and they will give you these specific blocks here this is the text to speech and the bottom two right here that translate so now let's look at the button code I'm gonna go back to the slides because I feel it's easier for those of you with mobile phones to see it so to create this the button functionality for the translation I suggest that you do one button first and then duplicate that button and change the language itself so the first thing we do is when the flag is clicked we want to uh, show our buttons and the reason we want to show our buttons is because I do this specific uh, here this call that when they're clicked I want to hide those buttons so I want to hide all the buttons um, well so what it does it's here in this uh, this specific area I create what I create is basically a empty button so let's go back to scratch right here if you guys look what I did to it, I did a custom for it where you have the button and then you had an empty area. So what we're doing in that specific code is we're calling this blank one. So once my button is clicked, I want all the buttons to disappear from the screen. I don't want them to show. So that allows for the functionality or idea that the buttons are no longer there. So this is how it works basically when you when you click on that specific button here so when we when the computer knows that you clicked on it or the app knows that you click on that specific button then it will go ahead and broadcast this event where it's that showing that other blank um, sprite where there's nothing on there and it'll hide that button then it'll show the background of the of the avatar that is my avatar and it'll send a set a prompt to uh, please enter a word or phrase you would like to translate so this is setting that that variable prompt to the specific words and I'm setting the language again to English to make sure that our application does not change languages and then we're gonna say the prompt so then that says that, that makes a specific bubble pop up that says please enter a word or phrase you would like to translate and then it speaks it and then forever this is this is the loop that allows me to keep prompting the user for phrases forever we're gonna be asking for these uh, for the user input so we ask them to enter a phrase or word a word or phrase below and then the input this is another variable that I was telling you guys we created is where we get the answer from the actual user. 
And then here is where we get to choose our languages that we're going to translate into. So this is where our assistant says that the phrase that was entered in the specific language. In this case, I put Spanish. And then here is where the bubble pops up with the specific translation. So we have translate the input, so whatever the user put in, translate it to the language we told it to. And then we wanted to speak it with the whatever the user input, we wanted to speak the specific language. And then we wait for 1.5 seconds. Uh, this you could play with, I've put it that because I felt like it was smooth. And then it'll just keep prompting the user. So let's go get back to our scratch and show you guys the rest of the buttons and how you can change the languages. So if you see, the rest of the buttons have exactly the same code. It's a little messy, but it's all the same code. And basically what you want to do once you have one button is right click on it and then duplicate it. And then go into that specific button, right? and change, you want to change first the name of it, so whatever language you want. Let me go see what languages we have. So in here, you leave the English as English, or depending on what language you're doing your translation in, right? I'm doing mine in English, so I'm leaving it in English. Come down here and choose any of the languages provided here, and translate, and then just use that as your output language. So I'm going to use Polish. And, ah, change. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, let's see. So that's going to be my language I'm going to translate to. I'm going to go back here. Change this guy to Polish. And I'm going to go into the actual custom and change it to Polish. Polish. Oh, look at this thing. All right. So that's how you do the different changes. So that's how you have to change for your buttons, the specific language, the name of it, and what the button actually says, and obviously where you want to position this button at. So let's see. I want to position it at. Okay, let's do 137. There you go. Up there. And I misspelled the uh, word itself on the button. Let's go change that. Uh, typical me. There we go. And that's how you do a uh, translator. Quick recap. Just show you guys how to use the uh, text-to-speech uh, and the translate extensions on Scratch. So basically what we created was a translate app where you have a specific language that is your input and you decide to ch you choose what output you want as your language. And there's many things you can do with these kind of blocks. This is one of the things I decided to do. There is one thing I'm trying to figure out how to do where if I click on language and I'm like, okay, I'm done with that language. Now I want to go back home, back to the home of the app. I'm trying to figure out how to do that. Might be another thing I'll post later if I figure out how to do it when I have more time. But uh, it'll be something fun. For you guys, you can go ahead and elaborate on this. Uh, I'll share it on scratch so that you guys can see it and then I'll put the link below so you guys can check that out and just uh, clone it and do fun things with it, change it however you guys want to change it. You can change the uh, characters, um, obviously those are just things I put there. And yeah, let me know what you guys create with this and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and see you soon. Bye.